The ongoing trial of rugby players Paddy Jackson and Stuart Olding in Northern Ireland has shocked the country. The two men are accused of rape and sexual assault. In the last two weeks, the victim was cross-examined for seven days by the defence lawyer Arthur Harvey. Among other accusations, he said, your memory was either clouded by drink or an unwillingness to acknowledge what had happened. It is this type of questioning and treatment that prevents many women from reporting sexual abuse or rape to the Gardaí. According to the Dublin Rape Crisis Centre, out of their 293 cases in 2016, only 84 cases were reported to the Gardaí. Out of those, only three went to trial with only one conviction. During the recession, the funding for the Rape Crisis Centre was cut dramatically. And while some funding has been restored, they are still unable to meet the need for therapy services. In addition to funding, there is a need for proper sex education in our schools. The Rape Crisis Centre in their 2016 annual report said, We have noticed two worrying and perhaps interlinked trends. An increase in the levels of sexual pressure, coercion and violence and a growing concern around consent and choice when it comes to sexual behaviour. This is particularly noticeable among many of our young clients who have not received sufficient education around personal choice and informed consent. For young people to access this education, a radical change in Ireland's school system is required. Currently, 90% of all primary schools are under the patronage of the Catholic Church. More than half of all secondary schools are run by religious institutions. We need a state-run education system where a program of appropriate sex education can be rolled out to all young people. The Me Too movement has been monumental in beginning a public conversation about sexual abuse and harassment. Since the movement began with the uncovering of the abuse perpetrated by Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein, there has been no end to the revelations. In January, the Financial Times exposed the disgusting behaviour of the elites at the Men Only Presidents Club dinner in London. The young women working as hostesses at the event were sexually harassed, groped and propositioned. Among the attendants were Philip Green of Arcadia Group, Dragon's Den star Peter Jones and Ocado boss Tim Steiner. This week, the UK charity Oxfam has come under attack following the revelations of sexual abuse by a number of employees, including the country director, Roland von Hauermeyeren, in Haiti in 2010. The Me Too movement has given women confidence to talk about sexual harassment and abuse when it had previously been kept behind closed doors. The revelations have brought to light the prevalence of sexism, and how the elites have been using their money and power to cover up their abuse. In Ireland, we need to demand proper sex education including consent and additional funding for services that help those who have suffered from abuse.